Hello friends, welcome to the another new video on design of vapor liquid separation system. Now in this case we have a feed stream containing 15% ethane, 21% propane, 55% isobutane and 9% n-butane. The temperature of this feed stream is 280 degree Kelvin. The pressure is atmospheric pressure and flow rate is 120 pound mole per hour. This stream we have to compress up to 50 psi in the compressor and then due to the compression the temperature is increasing so we have to decrease the temperature by using cooler to 275 degree Kelvin. The resulting vapor and liquid are separated in the separator as a two product vapor product and liquid product. So let us start the simulation. Click on the new case. First step we have to select the four components so click on the add and type the first component is ethane then second component is propane our third component is isobutane so type direct ibutane and fourth component is n-butane so you can see four components are selected the second step We'll select the fluid package or fluid package is Peng Robinson select the Peng Robinson then enter the simulation environment first select the material stream this is a blue arrow double click on this blue arrow and give the information first give the name as feed the temperature of this stream is 280 degree Kelvin pressure is one atmosphere and the molar flow is 120 pound mole per hour then composition we have ethane 0 0.15 we have propane 0 0.21 we have isobutane 0 0.55 and n-butane 0 0.09 click ok now we have to compress this feed by using compressor so select compressor from here object palette and double click on the compressor and give the name as compressor inlet will be the field and outlet we can give the name as compressed field the energy required you can give the name of Q compressor and then in the worksheet we have to compress this feed stream to 50 psi so click on the worksheet and then in the condition you can give the outlet pressure is 5050 you have to select the unit psi so psi ok now the stream is complete close this now this compressed feed we have to cool by using cooler so select the cooler from the major unit operation you can give the name as cooler then inlet will be compressed field the energy required is Q cooler the outlet stream from this compressor we can give the name as cold field now enter the pressure here we are assuming there is a no pressure drop so we can write it as zero and the temperature we want to cool so click on the worksheet and here the cold feed temperature we can enter as 275 degree Kelvin now this stream is complete you can see now this cold feed will enters in the separator so this is the last steps press F12 and alphabetically you can select the separator click on add now we can give the name as separator now the inlet for the separator is cold feed there are two stream we will get as vapor product so type vapor product and the bottom stream we can call it as liquid product so you can see the simulation is complete 
now we'll insert the two tables workbook table as a material stream and composition stream so in this way we can get the information if you want to see this information here if you see the workbook click on the workbook you can get the information about the materials composition energy of all the flow sheets in this uh, table so these are the material stream for a different streams composition stream wise information the energy stream wise information and the unit operations involved in this process you can also get the information so you can see this you can also click on the plant view mode and then you can see how you can be this flow sheet in a plant view mode it's looking nice so these are the different stream you can see the composition how it is changing with respect to the different uh, vapor liquid mode mixed and energy stream are given by the different color so i hope you like this video if you have any comment please mention in the comment box thank you and in the next video we will see some another interesting simulation example